What's going on YouTube? Uh, I just wanted to show you guys my complete soft wash setup here and how I have it set up. I've had a few questions and I kind of just want to show it off a little. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, <clears throat> tell me what you guys think below. But here it is. Uh, this is my hose reel with a um, half inch line on it, 200 feet to the wand. This hooks up to the pump. Pump hooked up to my meter valve. And how this is my chem tank. Keeps on my SH. And this is my water tank, the IBC tote. So if you look at it, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. I got water going right into the water tank. I've got soap that I'm mixing right now in a five gallon bucket. Um, it's working pretty well. And then I've got, sorry, car went by. And then I got a uh, chemical. So I would just unscrew the chem here. Oh, got a little bit left in there. Take out this pole and I could dip it right in and I got chem. Or I could dip it into a five gallon bucket or anything else I want to spray out of it. Um, degreaser or something, I don't, who knows. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, water, soap down into the five gallon bucket. Chem goes out to a five and a half gallon per minute Everflow. And then I, un I undo the reel and I hook it up directly. I bypass the reel, it's got a, uh, it's got a leak. So I take out the hose hook it up directly, put a new hose clamp. And uh, here's my battery, battery box. It's a, what is it? 12 volt deep cycle marine battery by Interstate. It was like 65, 70 bucks or something. Good deal. Uh, I've got a male and a female coming off the battery. Oh. And then I keep um, the, extension wire back there but that'll just plug right into here and then i'll hook it right up to here to the connector and i haven't had any issues it's been so far the best investment i've made um on this trailer well probably the meter and valve itself the best investment if you don't have one i highly recommend it get you one it'll save you hours and hours of time um, save you a mess, uh, save you chemical. It's it's amazing. I know you could buy them. Uh, some of these vendors got them for around three hundred bucks. I had mine made at the local pressure washing store. It was around two hundred and sixty, two hundred and seventy bucks. I just didn't feel like dealing with it, so they put it together for me. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I got a couple extra. Got three more extra valves just in case these were to break in the sun or for whatever reason I keep extra ones. Also have a whole ex extra pump that I keep in case this were to go bad. It's just four screws. Boom. One, two, three, four. On oh, a hose clamp, it pops right off the board. The new one goes on and I'm back in business. Um, this is just mounted onto a half inch half inch board that I got from Home Depot. I measured how long I wanted it. Went to Home Depot, told them what I wanted. They cut it for me. I bought a can of white spray paint from the dollar store. Spray painted white, drilled the holes and mounted to the back of the tank. Um, this is hooked on there by three hose clamps. It's not super tight. It's still got some wiggle room. You know, just, I don't want it to, to break or snap, so. Uh, <clears throat> but that's it, guys. That's it, super easy, super simple. It's affordable, it pays for itself. Um, I wish I took the, the leap and did it sooner, but I was still learning um, in the beginning, so. It's all right, it's paying off now, I love it. If you guys have any questions or you need any help uh, setting yours up or 
on what I used, even though I just showed you what I used and how I did it. Just send me a message or ask me in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Damn, I'm a mess. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, like the video if it helped you. All right, leave a comment and subscribe. All right, we're going to try and grow this YouTube channel.